Alright, the first thing we need to do is clean the surface that's about to be painted. If it's got an existing design, you'll want to scrub it real good with the wire brush. Even on this design, it's got a little, or on this uh, surface, it's got a little bit of mud. We'll hit it with the wire brush. You can see some of the grass and also some of the dust from the old dirt starting to come up. Wipe that away with our soft brush here. All right. Now we have a good clean surface. Next thing we'll want to do on the home kits is make our background box. We want to make sure we have enough room for that, so we'll lay down our numeric stencils. We'll lay down our custom logo we're going to put on this one, which is a Longhorn. It's a fairly used stencil here. You'll get a brand new one. You'll also get the oil board stencils. Uh, basically, they're the same size. We're using the brass interlocking today, but with the home kits, you'll get the oil board, which is more suitable for a few uses. All right. So the next thing is to make our background box. We're going to do this out of tape. Make sure it's lined up well. The tape will provide a good clean line and also some good overspray protection as well. step is to continue applying tape until we build a suitable overspray barrier. It's a little windy today, so we'll go ahead and put a pretty nice barrier here. Again, we're doing a longhorn design. Make sure the edge of the box, the tape is down firmly. None of the tape is coming up, looks good. We're ready to apply our background. This is the burn orange house bar paint. With our home kits, you do have an option of getting two different colors. Looks good, let it dry. Assist the drying with a little fanning. I want a little bit of tackiness, a little bit of uh, dampness when I apply the stencil, that way it sticks. Center the stencil up. any of the exposed areas off here. Put on our glove. Now we're going to apply our white paint. direction make sure it's all sticking down real well all right we're gonna remove this be careful not to remove the background box like I'm doing there 
press that back down. Now it's time to line up our numbers. Once again, for most home kits, you're not going to need the interlocking brass, but we do sell these as well. Tape off any of the excess again. I don't want it to uh, be pressed down too much, but I just want to give a little bit of a barrier there. One more little piece. All right. And just a quick tip: if you're going, if you're going to use the oil board, you'll see there's no interlocking device. So sometimes you'll get a little bit of uh, overspray in between. The way to do that is just to place them together. Like I said, you can tape the oil board ones. All right, once again, vertical pattern here. I try to do one section of the stencil at a time. background box. I want to go up towards it so we don't pull any of this grass back down on it. All right. Now the last step if you want, you can use a clear coat finish. If you apply that yearly, it'll last you forever. We're just using a, a Rust-Oleum clear enamel. Spray it down, adds a little reflective to it, like I said, especially in Texas. It'll help prevent it from the elements. <laughs> 